<laughs> Whoopsie. Four minute fifty one K. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Workout ended. Good morning. Time for some water first. So here we are out at Glengarry. I thought it might be nice to run somewhere different. I've got a, a week off for stress leave at the moment. And I was nearly going to go to Walhalla, but after yesterday's uh, massage, I thought maybe I shouldn't be doing hills. So today's run, week one, day two, for my new program for the 100 miles. Uh, it's a 220 kilometer multi-stage training program. It's the best one I think I can do for the miler, because the only other one is a 110 kilometer run and that's less. So I thought I might as well do more, even though it's a multi-stage thing. So I can give you a rundown of that a bit later. So today, have a good ride. So today, I thought I'll come out here. I thought it might be nice to start in Glengarry rather than turning around in like a couple of k's from here. Would have been 1k from here. So, well, that sign says I've got 9k's <laughs> to play with, but it's just 12 kilometers. It says no faster than 5.25 per kilometer. I think I might go slower than that though. I think if I could do 5.30s, 5.40s and slower, just to, I wanna have a break this week. I'm not putting the pressure on, so it's 16 weeks. I've already been training for 16 and I've been training for 28 weeks so far, going from half to 50. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to get into it before I make this video too long. I'll, I've already warmed up, my well, leg activations, so I might see you in a couple of Ks, uh, just so I can get into a flow of things. So, thanks everyone, see you soon, bye. Yo, this GoPro is really annoying, I need to get rid of it. So, welcome to the two point. Three, three kilometers in. Uh, muscles are feeling pretty tired at the moment. I think that's to be expected. But they're slowly warming up. Notice my pace is picking up a little bit. So I'm actively trying to slow down, keeping my eyes on my heart rate as well. And I notice I'm in green. So that's a good one. Nice and easy. Oh. oh, this bridge is closer than I thought it was. Oh well, that's okay. I might as well keep recording until I get to it. Here's a nice bridge. It's usually a good turnaround point when you're starting from Tarelgan. By the time you get back, it's usually about 15 k's. Oh, wonder what's there. <laughs> that went very, very quick. Fourth kilometer, 525. I'm not allowed to go faster than that, and I slowed down. So, oh well. Here's what it is. Had a few songs that were getting me pumped. I think my legs are finally in the rhythm. Funny how it takes this many kilometers to get into a rhythm these days. Hooray for long distance running. How I feel at the end of it. Got some uh, magnesium salts from Trogan Relaxation and Recovery last night after my massage. So I think that would be highly recommended. 
just a nice bath and go from there. The next time I see you, I'll be turning around. So, the occasion that maybe there is. Just past the massive school group. Looks like they're doing a hike from Toon Gabby to Gungary. Backpacks and everything. Um, felt a little bit weird uh, turning around just as I um, got to them. So I might just get to that sunny part up there and head back. Because this was supposed to be an easy run and I've now done extra distance, I'm gonna do the opposite of what I've just done and get to that sunny part and start running again. I've got a nice cool breeze on me now going this way. So I've just fixed my head buff, get the hair going. <laughs> Lose breath because I'm being an idiot. <laughs> Whoopsie! 4 minute 51k. Oh dear. <laughs> Probably because I was running past that school group. A lot of them were like, oh, he's back again. What the hell? <laughs> uh, <sighs> Four Ks to go. 512, Maddie. Slow down. Bye bye. Um, yeah, see you in another K. Hello. 1.8 kilometers to go. Oh, kinda wish I didn't do that out and have extra bit. But I think the walk at the end will be good. Um, just got a phone call from the psychologist. So I see them in a little while. And yeah, be interesting. Just to see what happens. Oh. 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 Workout ended. 543 average pace. Guess that worked out all right for the um, faster kilometers and the walking. And because I walked that extra distance, or I ran that extra distance, I should say, uh, It'll be a good amount to just walk from here to the finish. It's like, you can kind of see the car parks and stuff up ahead. Probably not on the camera, but I can. You can see the buildings. Anyway, that's the first training run done and dusted for my 100 miles. It's a bit up and down, wasn't it? Not feeling it at the start, took a few k's to warm up. Now I feel like I could keep going, but I'm not going to. Um, I think once I slowed down and just breathed and relaxed and danced a little bit softer, it became easier. There's a song and it says, the harder how can I put it? It basically says the harder he tried to dance, the more clumsy his foot stop feet got and the harder it was to dance. And it wasn't until he softened and learned to relax that he was able to dance and it became easier. It's a very good song, that one. But it's also very hard to listen to if you're not in a good mindset. So I don't tell people what it is. Only a couple of people know it. I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> but it has a very good meaning at the end. And I take a lot of respect out of that. So yeah. I apply it to my running. The harder I try to do things, the harder it will be to do this training. So if I force myself too much, I'm going to get injured and I'm happy to say 
16 weeks for the ultra program. I didn't physically get injured. Emotionally, yes. Because a lot happened in that 16 weeks. But I kept going through. Well, I think I nearly got injured. But I listened to my body and done what I had to so I could keep going. Anyway, this is getting very deep at the end of this run. It's supposed to be an easy run. Hey? And now it's windy. The audio is probably going to shit. So I am going to leave it there. Thank you all for watching this first video. It is a fairly glorious day. And I might need to go out there and have a look at that estate. See what it looks like one day. Not today. I'm gonna to get back to the cafe and have a nice stretch and then go home for a nice salt bath and then do shops and all that fun stuff. So, for now, bye bye for the second time. Farewell. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Maybe I can get a pie from the bakery here today. Wouldn't that be nice? Time for some water. <laughs>